Hello. Hello, Mr. Scott. How are you? I'm good, sir. I'm good, sir. Okay. Thank you for calling. We bless God. We bless God. We bless God. Which, yeah, which country are you calling from? I'm in Australia. Okay, okay. Father, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We commit Amen. this session into the blood of Jesus. And we pray that the realms of the Spirit will open for your servant to minister to your son, that will bring glory to your name, even in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Because we need to pray. We need to pray. I'm seeing lost of job. I'm seeing lost of job. Exactly. Mm. 100%. I'm seeing lost of job. And I'm also seeing, I'm seeing marital problems. Marital problems. Marital 100%, problems. 100%. Mm. Your ex, your ex, the spirit of God is saying to me, your ex is the cause of your work problems. Because she, she, she's, she used spiritual means to place a curse on you. Mm, she used okay. spiritual means to place a curse on you. Are you aware? I was not aware. You mm. are opening my eyes in that matter. Mm, so we need to pray. What is the issue between you and your ex? Uh, I'm not too sure. If you can give me a name, Papa, I can, okay. I can sort of... Okay, let's see if God will direct us in that direction. Let's see if God will help us in that direction. Mm. The Spirit of God is saying, if you if you will marry, you have to pray very, very, very hard. Are you already married? Not yet, not yet. Uh, but if, I have two children. Okay, okay. If you will marry, you have to pray very hard, else you will end up marrying into the wrong family that has that has a problem that will that will kill you before your time so if you marry you have to take your time sorry come again you are you are, are 100% correct um the 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 the, the person that I'm putting my mind on I was mm. even talking to my mother a few days ago that in that family they have like the father died i feel like they have might have, you know problem with husbands like men's and stuff like that mm. but you, you just confirm you just confirm mm, mm, mm. and the spirit of god says if you set it down don't set it down with a woman who is very light in complexion that is the trap they have set for you a woman that is very light mm -hmm. in complexion you'll be very attracted to her but she is not your wife. Your wife has to be dark in complexion. Uh -huh. So if you find yourself uh -huh. always getting attracted to the light in complexion, it's a trap. It's a trap. Uh -huh. It's a trap. Uh -huh. Yeah, the one I'm mentioning is light in complexion. Okay, okay. So God is giving us details now for you to know where... Amen. The problem is coming from. Amen. Um, Amen. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of God said, Amen. pray, pray for his work and pray against headache also, because they placed a burden on his head. They placed a burden on your head. Uh -huh. So he said, I should pray for you against um, headaches and also for your work. The Spirit of God is saying nothing is working out for you nothing is working out for you you are trying very hard but things are not going the way you expect them to go and the, the reason is because okay. the reason is because of this appetite this appetite for this type of particular women but god is going to change it for okay. you today because this season okay. you are in from now up to december going into next year i'm seeing a plantation before you and the plantation it's a plantation of maize and they are all ripe for harvest. So the Spirit of God is saying this season is a season of harvest and blessing for you, depending on how quick we will move in the realm of the Spirit. Amen. 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 
All right. So you're going to you're going to stay away from this food stuff, and God will help you fight your battles for you. You stop you stop eating red oil. Okay. You stop eating red oil. You stop eating red pe hot pepper, and then you stop eating yam also because I'm seeing a problem in the realm of the spirit that is connected to one your stomach like an ulcer like an ulcer kind of a problem and then coming up to your chest coming up to your chest like a like a chest pain or heart pain or something like that mm, so you stay away from this three food stuff god will help you fight your battles for you mm. the greatness of one of you okay speak 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 when you mention about my job, uh -huh. sir, if I can say, I've had a job, I started last year, this year it became a, it became something else. Mm. They sort of removed me around uh, March or April, and what happened is someone left, and I was just in prayer, because I was like, God, I want this job at least for the next two or three years before I move on to something else. And... We prayed, they put me back there, and as we are speaking, my contract is ending next month on uh, 21, 21st of next month, like a month from now. Mm. And I'm like, I don't want to leave that place. That's my prayer. I've been praying to stay there. Mm. That's where I'm praying. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to pray with you. Your heart desires will be granted. Amen. You pray, you pray with Psalm 27. Psalm 27. Yes, yes you, sir. you pray with yes, Psalm 27 sir. and you ask God to fight your enemies for you and grant you divine protection because I'm seeing the spirit of death also hovering around you, hanging around you. So you pray with Psalm 27. You will read that Psalm for 21 days. Sorry, sir, can you repeat that? You will read Psalm 27 and pray with Psalm 27 morning and evening for 21 days. Morning and evening? Yes. Okay. For 21 okay. days. Before you step out of your house, you will read it, commit yourself in the hands of the Lord. Before you go to bed, you will read it, also commit your, yourself in the hands of God. Ask God for divine protection and ask God for long life. Mm -hmm. Because this thing that this girl has done, the spell she has casted on you, it is not only fighting you or going to fight you in the area of your job, it is also looking for an opportunity to kill you. And the reason why it is so bent on using this opportunity to kill you is because the hand of God is upon you. You, the hand of God is upon you. If you give yourself to prayer and you walk in the ways of God, God is going to use you. There's going to come a time. God is going to use you. And the devil can see that star from afar. So he wants to take you out before that time manifests. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. be, be, also, be also careful of your friends, okay? That's true. Mm. Oh, I've not seen that, but I'm feeling it in my... I'm really feeling it lately. Mostly, it's like growing. I'm like, why? Why am I? I, I mean, I've not seen anything all time, but I just can feel it. Mm, mm. Be careful of your friends. The star you carry, definitely your friends will always be envious of you and they will fight you. And when you have no job, everybody will run away from you. When you have nothing to offer, everybody will leave you. And the, the type of friends you should make, you should make friends with men of God, pastors, that can okay. teach you and direct you in the ways of God. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Also, when you get money, God is going to help you. After this encounter, God is going to help you. God is going to bless you. When you get money, invest into lands and properties. Thanks. And property. Mm, lands and properties. Lands and properties. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank mm. you for the direction. Mm. Mm. Your wife your wife is a dark lady. 
I'm seeing a dark and tall lady. That is the kind of woman God will give you. And that is the kind of woman that will help you. You have to settle with. You will not lose your job in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your contract will be renewed by the power of the Almighty. Amen. By, Amen. by reason of the anointing of God upon my life, I prophesy that your contract will be renewed as your desire. Amen. Your contract will be renewed Amen. as you desire. Your contract will be renewed as you desire. Every marine spirit, every water spirit, every negative spirit that is hanging around you to frustrate you and frustrate your career, I cast that spirit and I cast it very far from you in the mightiest name of Yeshua, the Son of the living God. I proclaim and I decree and declare the favor of God upon you and upon your work and upon your career in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Do you have... Do you have any document? Do you have any document pertaining to your work? Yes. Um, Just pick it up in your I, hands. Pick it up in your hands right now. I have the printed with me the job application. Because they wanted to replace me, what they did is they send out a job application for anyone. So I printed that, that's what I've been praying with. Okay, okay, hold it that's in your hands. Hold it in your hands. Jesus, Amen. Jesus, you Amen. reveal to redeem. You reveal to redeem, I pray. He said, you, you told me lost of job. I pray for him concerning lost of job. And they have already um, advertised his position for other people to come and occupy. My hands are lifted. And I stop this replacement in the name of Yeshua. I stop this replacement in the name of Yeshua. I stop this replacement in the name of Yeshua, the Son of the Living God. May they not replace your son, I pray. May they not replace your son, I pray. May they not replace your son, I pray. In the name of Yeshua, the Son of the Living God. It is done. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. So I have one more request. Okay. The one sitting in my part. It's about I'm um, I'm applying to get my permanent residency here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will. The, the, the process is. I mean, the process is a little bit sketchy. Once uh, there are some papers I'm waiting for what department. Once I get those papers, I have to enter them to the immigration. And they have to send me an invitation for me to apply for the residency. Okay. So I'm um, about seeing if you can pray for favor in that in that area. Oh, the favor of God is upon you. I speak the favor of God okay. over your citizenship. And I thank God that your citizenship has been granted and has been issued. And when I get to Australia, we will meet and have lunch together Amen. to the glory of the Father. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 That's good. Don't worry. Everything is going to work out for you. The papers you are waiting for, the moment you have them, let me know so we can pray before you apply yes, to sir. the immigration. Yes, sir. The yes, moment sir. you have them, let me let me hear from you so we can take it a bit higher. In the realm of, but I don't see any problem coming for you concerning this, your citizenship. The, the door is already open for you. Amen. The door is already Amen. open for you. Okay. All right. I, 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 I may add, I may add one, one more request. Okay. But uh, that request is actually not of me. Mm. It's actually of a friend of mine. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm a parent, and uh, I have a friend of mine whose son, mm. as uh, he, he was the, the son was diagnosed with uh, what's this this sickness again? 
like his, his brain is not working properly. He's a little bit retarded. Okay. And I mean, they're, they're a good friend of mine, but you know, not many people believe in the prophetic as I do. So I was wondering if I can also just say his name so you may pray for him even by just his name. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Okay, no problem. I can pray. For your sake, I can pray for the young yeah. boy. Yeah, he, the, 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 the name of the, the boy, his name is Alban. Okay. And um, okay. Yeah, he just pains me when when I see that. So. Mm. Okay. Father, I pray. That's why. And I use your son as point of contact for his friend's son, Alban. Amen. And I pray the hand of the Amen. Lord is released upon Amen. this young boy's life. I pray that, Lord, you take away the spirit of uh, retardation, retarded, remove that spirit, and make this young man whole, make this young man sound, even in the name of Yeshua, the Son of the living God. Oh, yes, Lord. And I also pray that let the curse be lifted. Let the curse be lifted. Let the curse be lifted from Martinus' life, even in the name of Jesus. The curse which has been placed on his life by his ex, the fair in complexion woman, I ask that you remove the curse from his life. Remove the curse by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. You know, you know, the moment I began to pray for you concerning the curse being removed from your life, I saw an angel of the Lord give you a new key. And it's, it's, it's a small key. It's a small key. But I saw the angel of the Lord give you a key, a new key. So something you have been waiting for for many, many, many years, and the door has not been opened, knock on the door again. The door is going to open for you from now. Knock on the door again. If there is any job you have applied in the past and they have not responded to you, knock on them, send them an email again, do a checkup again. Yes, sir. An ancient you, door you. is about to open for you. An old door that has been locked is about to open for you again. Amen. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. I wait for your testimony. I wait for your testimony. Amen. 100%. 100%. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Bless you. Amen. Thank you, sir.